this is one of those things I'd seen and noticed but actually never thought about doing myself and it's how to link to a specific time in the deep dark depths of a YouTube video description. There's lots and lots of pages telling you how to do this when you're pointing to a YouTube video that's um, just add an extra bit on the end of the string and it says go to that number of seconds that's fine but if you put that kind of link in a YouTube video description it just puts the whole long ugly link in and that's not what I'd seen if you've ever searched for, I don't know, say a, an album, you'll notice quite often they they put the full track listing. I'll show you one album I bought years ago, Al Stewart, Year of the Cat. If I can't be bothered to dig out the CD, play it on YouTube, it probably like, breaks all sorts of copyright. But down here, you've got a track listing, and clicking on each of those, I'm not going to do it because I would break copyright, I'm not going to do that. Although if I press mute, then we'll go. Notice it at the moment it's on 8 minutes 14 which was I'd press Midas Shadow but if I wanted to go to uh, Broadway Hotel it'll go straight to that place in the video. <coughs> How do you do that? Because clicking on those it... Uh, let me just move the screen you can see bottom left hand corner there's a little thing that um, says YouTube watch whatever it just disappeared. And that's just got a hash at the end of it so if you go to the actual source of the page, all it has in the underlined link is that. So how is that magic happening? And it took me ages to work out and need a support email to someone. And I said, ooh, it's easy, as these things always are. And it really is easy. I'd overcomplicated it, which I can do, because being a techie you kind of think, oh, it's got to be complicated, and it's not. <clears throat> it's designed to be really easy. You just put a time, literally a time, so that was 8 minutes 41 seconds or whatever it was. You put that followed by your description and when you press publish, YouTube will actually turn that that little bit, the 8 minutes 41 or whatever it happens to be, into a clickable link that goes to that precise time in your video. So it's a fantastic way of getting extra backlinks to your video in the description. And it really is as simple as that. I'll show you it in the, in the text on one of my videos. Here's one I did earlier, and literally 0 minutes 34 seconds, 1 minute 23, 3 15, and all of those will turn into clickable links when you press publish. So we'll show you those in that particular video. Click the show more for the description, and there we are. That one, as you can see down the bottom, goes to there. That'll go to 1 minute 23, that'll go to 3 minutes 15, we'll click on them. Also a lot of people use YouTube um, as so a search engine. We've got that. It goes that way, it really is that easy go off and do it. It's, um, it's a really neat trick and it makes it life easier. If you've got longer than a one or two minute video it's really worth doing and it doesn't take very long. You just click to roughly the right place, take a note of minutes and seconds, put it in your description just before the bit that's relevant to that content. Okay, thanks for watching.